Good morning. Welcome back. It is Sunday. You always know what we're going to rip by our title here, and that would be another pack <clears throat> of our 2022 Panini Donruss. We picked these up at different locations last year, mostly Walmarts and Meyer. <clears throat> and I apologize <clears throat> for my voice. Just battling <clears throat> some sinus issues right now. I see a code card on the back. No thick cards, but hey, maybe we get an auto. Maybe we get <clears throat> another artist-proof card like we did the other day. It's always cool when you get something that you not sure. So there is the old code card from last year. And we're going to start off with the <clears throat> Panini-sponsored driver himself, Mr. Gray Galding. <clears throat> Has a couple second place finishes in the Xfinity Series. There's 2021 Xfinity champ Daniel Hemrick. Bailey Curry, I'd like to see him in a good ride. <coughs> Excuse me, Cole Moore. I think he's... I can't remember what series I've seen him racing in this year. I've drawn a blank on it. And again, 2022 Donruss has a lot of <clears throat> underrated, it's a very underrated set in terms of rookies, I think. Garrett Smithley, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I'm, I'm sorry, just I apologize for this. It's almost, <clears throat> it's almost like I'm trying to come down with something, but it's uh, not working. John Hunter Nemechek, and I feel great, don't get me wrong, I feel great, I just sound horrible. Ryan Truex, B.J. McLeod, <clears throat> of course, he sold his charter to Spire, I believe, for, what, $40 million? So I'd see him to put some money in his Xfinity teams next year. Brad Kay, 2012 Cup champ, three-time Daytona winner, Denny Hamlin. <clears throat> Thad Moffat, Richard Petty's grandson, races a lot in the Trans Am series now. There's our Dylan. <clears throat> we haven't seen him for a couple days on here, so maybe they're starting to thin out a little bit, but I doubt it. There's DW, three-time cup champ, Matty D. Not sure where his landing spot's going to be next year. Michael McDowell, look for him to run good today at the Roval. Bobby Labonte, 2000 cup champ. Chase Elliott, <clears throat> 2020 cup champ. First repeat driver, Daniel Hemmer. Of course, we said 20... 21 Xfinity Series champ. <clears throat> Gray Border, Austin Sendrick. That's weird. That's usually where they put the numbered card or the hit or whatever. Tommy Joe Martins. Vinny Miller. These are Carolina Blues. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And Bobby Labonte. <clears throat> so we get a uh, optic, Chase Elliott. These are somewhat out of order, I think, because this should have been directly behind those. Richard Petty in the Blue Wave Optic, <clears throat> Under the Lights, Kevin Harvick, Haley Deegan, we have Action Packed, <clears throat> Rusty Wallace Elite Series, Joey Logano, Victory Laps, and our checkerboard is Eric Almarola, round of 10. <clears throat> so to be truthful, a relatively underwhelming pack, but hands down, I think this is my card of the day, the Richard Petty Carolina Blue Wave, even though they're horribly off-center. You know, it looks good with that black and white image because you don't have a lot of colors messing with it. If it had been a color picture, maybe the Almarola would have been card of the day. But Richard Petty, <clears throat> Carolina Blue Wave Optic, is card of the day. Like I said, not really, a, <clears throat> again, it, it just, that pack seemed really out of place because normally the inserts, like the numbered cards and stuff, always come in place of the gray border parallel, and it always feels like that the <clears throat> uh, Blue Wave Optic is always right behind the Carolina Blues, so... That was just a strange pack. Kind of underwhelming, to be truthful. I mean, I'm not complaining about it by any stretch. Just just an average pack. There is nothing super spectacular. Yeah, there's some nice cards in there, especially the base. The base seemed really, really uh, lack of star power, if you will. So 
But that Richard Petty's nice. The double A's nice. I'll have to check those Carolina Blues to see if I need them for my set. And we will move forward. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Please make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button on your way out. We keep inching closer to 2,000 subs. Would really, really like to get there by the end of the year. Like, <clears throat> I know I told you guys I want to do a giveaway at 2,500. So when we get to 2,500, I got an idea for a fairly nice giveaway. But uh, 2,000 will just be a nice little round number to just kind of celebrate. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you later for birthdays and events.